When you first come into prison, it's terrifying. You're not sure what to expect. Once you get in and you start to understand how it works and the routine, um, you don't notice it so much. You know, you don't notice the harsh conditions and the cold and, and all those sort of things because you've settled into a routine. Like down here in D Division, you would get up at seven o'clock, you would go out into the yard, you'd come back in for breakfast at eight, you'd come back in for lunch at quarter to 11, and you came back in for tea at quarter to three. You were locked up at 4.30 and you didn't eat again until next morning. So you'd be absolutely starving because some of the food you couldn't eat. When you come back to visit your old cell, it's a really strange feeling. And you look inside and you can't believe that it was so small. But you lived there and at the time you didn't think it was. So it's an eerie feeling. In Pentridge, I was here for about 18 months, and in this particular cell about 10 months. I was a lawyer by background, um, and I got into a hell of a mess drinking and gambling in the 70s. I'm an alcoholic, I didn't know at the time. And uh, so there was misappropriation of my trust account, um, and then the second sentence was for armed robbery of a bank. And I always thought I was a good lawyer until I got to jail and saw all my clients. Prisons, it's a subset of society, so you've got different groups mixing with like minded interests. Within 48 hours of being here in 1982, I was arrested on October the 15th, the reality set in and I knew then that I was going to be here for a long time and uh, if I didn't change my life it was going to be a disaster. When the owners decided to develop D Division into a wine storage unit, uh, I, I was literally amazed. and. Lee, one of the owners, suggested to me, well, why don't you buy your old cell? And, and I went home and spoke to my wife and, and she sort of said, well, what do you think? And I said, well, I don't think there's too many ex-prisoners have bought their cell back. Uh, so I did, and I didn't regret it, but when a couple of people approached me and said, Graham, you, you know, you don't drink, you're in recovery, you counsel people, it's not a good look owning a, a wine cell. I sort of thought, yeah, that's probably right. So I spoke to the owners and they very kindly said, look, we'll buy it back off your ground, which is what they did.